Hi, this is a short tutorial to show you how to make a logo in Illustrator along with some text and then export that uh, as, a, as a logo, an image to use in an event flyer. Um, so uh, I've decided that I'm going to have a, um, a football event, a Friday football. I want people to come out for Friday football. So I need some text and I need a football. So the first thing that I'm going to do is make a football. And I'm going to do that by coming over to my shapes panel. And um, the third shape in my shapes panel is the ellipse tool. So I'm going to take my ellipse tool and I'm going to make an oval, which doesn't look a whole lot like a football. And then I'm going to come up to my pen panel, and the pen panel, the fourth tool down in the pen panel, is called the anchor point tool. And what the anchor point tool does is it allows you to get rid of curve information. So my oval has curve information around each one of these four anchor points. And if I click on the anchor point at the top and I click on the anchor point at the bottom, I've removed the curve information for those two anchor points. Okay, I still need it a little bit round, so I now I'm going to go to my white direct selection tool and I'm going to go around the all of my anchor points and I see that where I have no curve information these little widgets show up. So I'm going to pull down on those and that rounds my football out. It's a little fat, so I'm going to come with my regular black selection tool and then just squeeze that up just a bit and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, turn this on its side by holding down and rotating and then when I get close enough I'm going to hit the shift key to lock this in place and then I'm going to let go of my mouse and then I'm going to let go of my shift key. So now what I need is the lacing on the football and the lacing on the football is uh, I'm going to start it out with black and then I'm going to turn it to white. So to make the lacing it's pretty easy and I'm going to do it with a bunch of straight lines and I'm going to start uh, by drawing a level straight line which means I'm going to click and hold the shift key down so I get um, a very straight line and I'm going to come up to my stroke panel and I'm going to make sure that the stroke is oh probably four points that looks pretty good it's going to be kind of thick lacing then I'm going to click a um, down and make some of the thread so I'm going to start moving this straight line over to the right and I see by my smart guide that it is nicely lined up before I let go I'm going to hold down my alternate key that would be an option key on the Mac. The reason that I've done that and I'm just holding this in place now is because what that says to Illustrator is that when I move this this um, line down to another spot when I let go of my mouse it's going to drop a copy of it. So I'm dropping my mouse right now and now I'm letting go of the alter option key. That leaves this line selected. With the line selected I have taken my first little line and moved it a certain distance to the right and copied it. That's called a step. To repeat that step I'm now going to hold my control or command key down and then just click the D on my keyboard and that's going to make as many copies as I need. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my black selection tool and marquee over all of my small lines and I'm going to group them with a com command or control G and then I'm going to marquee over my uh, short threads and my one long thread and I'm going to use the align tools to line the uh, threads up and distribute them. So now I've got my threads and so now if I move those threads down onto this black football I'm not going to be able to see them. So what I need to do is come over to my stroke panel either over here on the left hand side of my screen or I can come up to the properties panel up um, underneath my drop down menus and say that I would like my stroke to be white instead of black which makes it disappear um, but I'm holding on to it so that it's okay. So I'm going to grab these, this set of um, set of threads, and then I'm going to just move them down onto my football. 
And now I have a logo of a football that's pretty, you know, pretty simple, but I can use it in um, for my event flyer. So I'm going to scroll back out, and so, and just to keep everything together, I'm going to use my black selection tool, marquee around all of this. You can see everything is highlighted, and I'm going to Control or Command G to group it. So now I just need to add some words, and um, I'm going to to um, call this Friday football. So I'm going to take my type tool and I'm going to draw out a box where I'm going to put Friday football. I'm going to start with a smaller font size just to make sure that I don't run out of room and type Friday football and that looks pretty good. I'm not going to worry so much about this being the best font. We just need something in there. I could change it if I wanted to, but I think that Montserrat is good. And I'm just going to position this text underneath my football. And I'm going to say that's my logo. That's going to be good enough. So now what I need to do is get this Friday football logo out so I can use it in an event flyer. How I do that is I snug up this white artboard around my image and export this as a PNG or a JPEG. So in order to snug this up, I'm going to come over to my artboard tool, which is on the left, and I'm going to carefully resize the artboard so Illustrator knows I just want this piece. And let's say that looks good. And then I'm going to hit the escape key to get out of the artboard view. And the first thing I'm going to do is save my Illustrator file, file, save. And I'm going to go out and save this into a place where I won't forget it, which is under my custom classes, and it's my KD file. And this is Friday football logo. All right, so now I've got the Illustrator file, and um, but I don't have my image file yet. So now to get that image file, I'm going to go to click File and Export and I'm going to save for web. And I'm going to click save for web instead of export as or export for screens because it gives me the most options. The option that I would like is I would like this to come out as a PNG. And a PNG, and I'm going to click PNG 24 because it's my best quality. So now I have a um, football, and Friday football with a logo, and it's on a transparent background, and you can see the transparency with these gray and white checks. So I see that the width is 248 pixels by 177. That's fine. I could upsize it or downsize it here, but I'm not going to. And I'm going to click Save and make sure that I know where this is going to. Again, I need to navigate to my custom classes folder because that's where I have this stored into my Katie folder and now this is going to be stored as a Friday football logo dot PNG and I'm going to click Save and now my file is there waiting for me to use it in some other program and that's how you quickly can create a logo um, with a couple of the tools in Illustrator save your file and then save the image out to use in a different program